plane waiting for takeoff. I am traveling with a friend from work and in less than two hours we will be arriving in Hobart, Tasmania. We have just arrived and posting for photos, got our luggage and waiting for pickup. We are now uh, on the road to one of our destinations scheduled for the day. This is a five day tour and this is day one of the tour. And the plan is um, visiting three places today before heading to our accommodation in um, Hobart CBD. So that's my friend uh, just taking some video of the views. This is their main road and we will be heading to Kate's Berry Farm which is less than three hours and I think if I'm not um, wrong it's about an hour and 33 minutes approximately so while we're on the road let's enjoy the view and here we are we are at Kate's Berry Farm and looking at Oyster Bay just up in the hill there so yes let's have a look at the berry planted by rose here it's a bit windy so I'm just talking to a friend of mine farm is not so busy today because it's weekdays and these are some of the people, tourists, looking at the same thing. And this is the cafe area. After exploring the farm, Kate's farm, we headed off to another destination scheduled for the day which is Coles Bay which will take us about less than an hour or around approximately 51 minutes and apparently we're going to have our lunch there so once again enjoy the view as we travel to our next destination which is Coles Bay continue to travel I have noticed that there's not much cars on the road it's basically you see one or two um, but the place is filled with green plants you know there there's one parked car there that's so far one um, car I saw um, since we left the farm and different plants it's very interesting place and I guess I discovered um, that you do need cars when driving from one place to the other <music>
idea of where we're heading to. Colesby is an Australian town on the east coast of Tasmania, just 192 kilometres northeast of Hobart and 173 kilometres southeast of Launceston. <laughs> Just to look around the area, and that's the wharf, the wharf boats, uh, beautiful weather, and look at, we're just taking some selfies for ourselves uh, before we head out for lunch, the sound of the ocean, it's pretty calm. It's quite windy today, so and it's relatively cold, although the sun is out. There's two mountains. More selfies. We have now arrived at the Presunet National Park where the Wine Glass Bay is, lookout is. Presented National Park is on the east coast of Tasmania. The walk to the lookout is short but steep and worth it once you get to the top and see the fantastic views of Wine Glass Bay. The complete trail to and from the car park is 6 kilometers and should take 1.5 to 2 hours to complete, not including breaks. The walk will give you one of the Tasmanian's most celebrated views over the beautiful white sand of Wineglass Bay. Wineglass Bay is nestled at the feet of the forest covered mountains. The track is a short but fairly steep climbed the saddle between Mount Amos and Mount Mason. This man is our tour guide for the next two days during this tour and he is just explaining for the rest of us um, where to go and what, what time to be back. The first part of the walk to the Wineglass Bay lookout has beautiful views over Coles Bay and the Presented Mountain Peaks. The uphill walk is steep in places, but the track is well constructed with many steps. There are several seats to relax and catch your breath on the way up, and the view at the top makes it worth it. The track waves between giant granite boulders and through scrubby bushland. A look out halfway along the track with sweeping views over the coast bay is a great spot to stop for rest and take some photos. As you continue along the track until you reach the top, there are several lookouts all with great views over Wineglass Bay. Once you are at the saddle, it's not far to the lookout platforms and a view that will reward your efforts. 
this walk is best on um, in the early morning walk? and afternoon yes. to avoid busy. I don't know because I'm using period. my GoPro. We're going to rewind last bank. Look out. Uh, it's 40 bench. minutes. No bench you have to you put in the time? Mm -hmm. Weather in Scandinavia is can be quite tricky. Tricky. We're walking now. And a good tour. And I think we've got to be walking for 40 minutes to get to the wine glass bay. Look at. And this right here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Going this way. Battery is about to. Battery is about to go. These people in front of me are uh, tourists um, from Hong Kong and China. So I am with the delegate. I am the only odd one on the tour. But um, yes, they came to this menu for a holiday. And some of them are going to Melbourne as well, I, so I heard. Work? My previous work. On the top. And I'm now going on a very steep climb, winding steps in between the bushes. So it's going to be very interesting for me. I'm already feeling the difficulty. This is grade 3 climb. Although not a long walk, the Gravel, this loose gravel track make you slippery. Hi. But the track is so steep at, at <laughs> times and winds its way to it's a okay. rocky lookout. Perched we'll between try. the twin peaks of the hazards of Mount, Mount Amos and Mount Mason. I'm hopping and puffing here. This huge boulders in between is amazing. Look at those. I'm just passing.
we stop here to take some photos and watch the view. That's Wineglass Bay Beach, so they're heading that way, and that's not our destination.